Welcome back to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. On this episode I cut out the spokes on the drive wheels. Starting with the wheels I turned in the last episode, I will use the rotary table to cut out the spokes. I'll be working from a drawing which I made, in which I've calculated the angles and tool paths for the procedure. I'll begin by locating the turned wheel on the arbor and rotary table setup used in the last episode. I have the digital readout zeroed on the centre of the rotary table. This will allow all cuts to be referenced back to the centre point. Once the wheel is bolted down, we can move to step 1 of the procedure. This is to remove the central material using an 8mm drill bit followed by a 12mm drill bit. My wheel has 8 spokes, so I'll be rotating the rotary table 45 degrees between drilling each hole. I start my first hole at 22.5 degrees, being half of 45 degrees. This will mean my spokes start at 0 degrees in the later steps. During this step, the X and Y axes of the mill table will remain locked, with only the rotary table being rotated between each hole and then locked off. Once all the holes have been drilled out to 12mm, I swap the drill chuck for my ER32 collet chuck and an 8mm end mill. For the second step, I'll be milling an 8mm slot from the holes previously drilled towards the centre. This will remove the remainder of the central material. During this procedure, the Y axis will stay locked, zeroed on the centre line of the part. The x-axis will be moved back and forth to make the cut, and the rotary table move 45 degrees and locked between each cut. Once all the slots were complete, I swapped the 8mm end mill for a 6mm end mill. This matches the final corner radiuses I need to achieve. The next step is to do the finishing cut on one side of the spokes. For this, I'll offset the Y axis 4.6mm, that being half the spoke thickness plus half the end mill diameter. The x-axis is left unlocked to make the cut. The rotary table is rotated 45 degrees between each cut, starting with zero. This means we're cutting parallel with the angle of the spoke. Once I'm finished cutting the spokes on one side, the next step 
is to move the table on the x-axis to the other side of centre. This will be 9.2mm, being double of 4.6mm to move the table for the last operation. Once again the y-axis is locked and the x-axis is used to make the cut and the rotary table is moved in 45 degree increments starting at 0 degrees. With the sides of the spokes complete, the final machining operation is to cut the inside curve of the outside diameter. This is done by setting the x-axis to the diameter required, the y-axis to zero on centre with the part, and cutting with the rotary table unlocked. This will allow the curved cut to be made. Once this is complete, the part can be removed from the rotary table and finished by hand, using hand files and a deburring tool. Here we have the final completed wheels. One has a small nick in it, which I'll end up having to remake, as the head of my mill rotated while I was making one of my cuts. I'll take care of this when I get to making the rear wheels. I'm glad to finally see the locomotive with wheels, even if it's only four of the six. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you know someone else who would enjoy it, please hit the share button and send it to them. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.